here you have a morning consult poll. Morning consult poll. State of the Democratic Party. On a, on a daily basis, morning consult is surveying over 5,000 registered voters across the U.S. on the 2020 presidential election. Every Tuesday, we'll update this page. So who's leading now? What do you have it? Joe Biden. 35%. That's, that's higher than I've seen recently for Joe Biden. Says the latest results are based on 13,725 interviews with registered voters collected March 18th through the 24th. So Democratic primary votes, Joe Biden, 35%. Bernie Sanders, 25%. Kamala Harris, 8%. Beto O'Rourke, 8%. Important to note, Beto O'Rourke announced on March 14th. So his 8%, I mean, this poll began four days after he announced and extended to... 10 days after he announced. So 8% is not not so great, Mr. Mr. Beto. And for the audience's information, uh, oh, Beto O'Rourke, he is, he is, uh, I'm looking into some things. Let's put it that way. And it's not hard to find as far as Beto O'Rourke. His flip-floppery is in the Mitt Romney club. Him and Mitt Romney bought flip-flops together. So Kamala Harris still still at a low number, even though the media continues to cover her more than anyone else. Cory Booker running on love down there. Amy Klobuchar running on I don't know what down there. America's new mayor, Pete Buttigieg, 2%. Kirsten Gillibrand, 1%. Let's see more candidates. Tulsi Gabbard, 1%. I would say part of that is the lack of coverage. Same could go for Julian Castro, Hickenlooper, Gillibrand. I mean... Coverage does matter, but they're all pretty terrible, too, other than Tulsi. And let's see, early primary state voters. Wow, early primary state voters? Joe Biden goes up even more. Look at that. It's like, why should Bernie be running? Biden already has it. So the obvious question, I mean, well, again, look at Beto, so he... Didn't really get much of a boost after he announced. So let's look at Biden versus Bernie. Bernie. Biden. So you see Bernie Sanders, after he announced, middle of February, went up a little bit. And then just kind of been steady. Slightly down. Less at the end of this, but pretty steady. Joe Biden had this bump here on the 10th because the media started covering him 27, 24-7 saying that, oh, that's when the Will Biden, you know, Biden's within possibly a week to two weeks of announcing. And, oh, that's when started hearing about possibly he's going to run with Stacey Abrams. So the obvious question is, well, who are they polling? How many old people? How many young people? Demographics, what's that information? And here's, you know, more. Biden has a 79% favorability, Bernie Bernie 74%, heard of, never heard of, Biden at 8%, Bernie at 9, unfavorable, Bernie at 14, Biden at 11, I mean, within range of each other. But where is the information on the ages of the people polled? Don't you think that's kind of important, folks? I mean, we know, I mean, Bernie has support of all ages, but obviously he has a huge advantage over any other candidate among young people. So on a, on a daily basis, morning consult, surveys over 5,000 registered voters across the U.S., along with 2020 presidential election data, political intelligence tracks the approval ratings for all governors, senators, House members, the president, and more at the national, state, and congressional district level. Each week we will release a report with the most important findings of a 2020 election. Sign up to receive results from the most recent. This page was last updated on March 25th, 2019. Our Democratic primary results are reported using 13,725 interviews with registered voters who indicate they may vote in the Democratic primary or caucus in their state. For those who say 
They don't know who say don't know or no opinion. They are asked to pick a candidate they are leaning towards. Results are reported, first choice, and those who lean towards a candidate. The interviews were collected from March 18th through 21st, have a margin of error plus or minus 1%. There is absolutely zero information in here of the age breakdown, who they've, who, who, what are the ages of people that voted? Nothing. So essentially, we are to believe that Ber- Joe Biden is kicking Bernie Sanders' ass right now. You know how I know they're not polling a lot of young people? Key, second choices, where voters would migrate. Well, Sanders supporters, second choice. 35% Joe Biden? No way. Absolutely no way. I don't know, honestly, I don't know 35 Sanders supporters that are young, old too, but particularly young, that would vote for Joe Biden as their second choice. I think they'd probably, I think Tulsi would be up there. I think Warren would be up there. Maybe say, screw it, I'll go with Pete. Mayor Pete. There is zero chance that this morning consult poll is polling a equal amount of young people, or even a large number of young people, if they found 35% of Bernie Sanders supporters, their second choice is Joe Biden, there is zero chance of that. So essentially, you have a poll claiming Joe Biden is far in the lead that I don't, I don't actually think is polling young people. And I'm not being an ageist. I know status quo has older viewers. I know Bernie has a lot of older supporters. But demographics is demographics, and the trends are the trends. And Bernie has the advantage over young people. And none of, as I showed you with CNN's ridiculous poll last week, that shouldn't even be called a poll. It's propaganda. So is this. If you're not going to tell us how many young people you're polling, and anyone with a half a political brain would know that 35% of Bernie Sanders supporters second choice would not be Joe Biden. It would be Tulsi or Elizabeth Warren. My guess would be the majority would be probably Warren followed by Tulsi in the, in the Biden category, uh, in the Sanders category. Also doesn't make sense to me that within a day of each other, you have an Emerson, Emerson poll. This is in Iowa, so it's not a full poll of the whole country. Okay, Biden and Sanders, neck and neck. You got Biden at 25, Bernie 24, America's mayor, Pete Buttigieg, 11%. Well, how is that possible if in this poll, early primary voters, Joe Biden is up 11% over Bernie? Now, early primary state voters means Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, California, Nevada. But I was in there, although it's not a primary, it's a caucus, but it's still one of the early contests. This is why I am here to do the hard work, the egregious work of showing you don't believe, don't believe propaganda. So when your neoliberal auntie or your Republican uncle are telling you, you know, Bernie doesn't have a chance. Biden is the guy. People want Biden. Not so. Not true. False. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.